Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Manchester United and today we've got episode 18 of the career mode and in today's episode we've got the semi-finals of the FA Cup. So just before we go any further then into today's episode, the majority of you guys watching this right now aren't subscribed to the channel. If you do end up enjoying today's episode, don't forget to go down below, hit the red subscribe button, it's completely free and you can always go back and change your mind. So here is then guys how the semi-finals is looking and the first game of today's episode is taking on Arsenal. Now I really do fancy our chances of winning the FA Cup in this first season with United as you can see you got Peterborough and Nottingham Forest in the other games so like I say just beat Arsenal and we fancy our chances in the final so here is then as well the Premier League table as you guys can see we're actually in the top four right now but we're going to make sure we win every game we've got remaining in the league you see Spurs only two points behind us they drew their last game when we got a win against Newcastle so that's why we're ahead of them but we do have the tougher four games left so luckily for us then, Pau Torres has returned from his injury, as you guys can see. He's only got 10 sharpness though at the moment. So I'm looking to get it increased and hopefully get him some game time before this season ends. So I'll just take a look then at the objectives we do have set this season for us. And I actually have set the objective to go ahead and win the FA Cup. And like I say, right now we're in a great place. As long as we beat Arsenal, I do fancy our chances in the final against the Peterborough or Nottingham Forest. So in the last episode then, we did try something different. That was trying Fernandes in that centre mid position. Because I do feel like he works really well there. Obviously he doesn't really get involved too much. But he did get himself a couple of assists being in that centre mid role. And like I say, him playing in this centre mid role allows us to play Felix at Cam and then play Martial at striker, which still gets them to game time in the first team. But like I said, the only downfall at the moment is Martial. I don't think he'd see out this game against Arsenal, so we're going to stick with a normal team we do have. But that is something I am interested in doing next season. So one of the questions then in the press conference is, do you have Arsenal worried? Now, we have been on good form recently, but we can crumble at times, which is the problem. That's why it took us so long to get in the top four. But now facing Arsenal, like I say, one game away, getting into the final. I'm going to say we're in good form right now, so I am pretty confident that we can beat them in this first game. So here is then how the two teams are going to line up for this FA Cup semi-final. Now, for us, just going with a normal lineup. Going to be honest, Fred Pogba in midfield along with Fernandez as well. We'll take a look at Arsenal. As you can see, David Neres on that left-hand side. Canate in defence. They're playing a five at the back, which I absolutely hate. You guys know I hate playing five at the back. I struggle to score. But I'm hoping that won't be the case in this game. Let's get into it. And here we go then, guys. Our first time playing at Wembley this season. Like I say, so disappointed that we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. But I'm hoping next season we'll have a better run in that. But this time now, it's all about the FA Cup. Come a long way. And we have been playing Henderson in goal in these games. But now we're in the semi-finals. I've got a feeling De Gea just has to play in this. And just hopefully help us secure the win. Oh, here we go. Turning now. Making it down his left-hand side. He does have support with him. Maguire trying to close him down. Wambasaka closes him down in the end. And it goes out for a throw. But Arsenal definitely getting forward really well here. Thomas Partey now. And okay. Absolutely outdone me there. Absolutely played me. Here we go. Zaka now. Turney. Can we just get a foot in here? Or we just can't seem to get anywhere near this. And I'm worried about bringing players out of position. Kunde. Kunde gets someone on it. And of course he can. But again, it falls to an Arsenal player. But here we go. Let's go. Felix. Send Greenwood. There we go. Oh, what? The pass in the end. Cut out by Canate. Kunde and Maguire having a great game so far. Really helping out the back. But the passing in the midfield is really poor. Like, really, really poor. But let's hope that Arsenal don't get anything here. Lacazette now. Kunde. Oh, mate. Kunde. Kunde is absolutely unreal. You know, considering he's 81 overall, he, he puts a stop to almost every attack. And with his pace as well. Like, honest to God, him and Pau Torres are going to be some machine next season, guys. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to say it there and then. Fred, the pass up again. Not a best pass. But out wide now to Rashford. He's got the pace now. Maybe a low crossover, try and find Felix, go on, Felix, oh wow, okay, I was thinking maybe the own goal there from Canate, but it's not, and he does get it cleared now, but in towards Maguire, go on Maguire, go on, head that one home, and it goes over, unfortunately, oh, David Neres easily beating Harry Maguire here, Arsenal now in the area, okay, that's poor, this is still poor, David Neres, oh, he's going to get something on this, he's going to get something on this, man, we just couldn't get anything, I just couldn't get anything cleared there, but they've got themselves a corner now. Let's have a see. Arsenal whipping it over. Fred's maybe headed away. Lacazette. No way. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I don't know what happened there. I do not know what happened, but Arsenal now another corner here. Got to get this one cleared. Really have to get it cleared. And Wamasaka with the header. And thank God. Okay, no, it's still coming back in now, Zaka. And Pogba luckily gets something on it. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Oh, no way. Lacazette is in. He makes it 1-0. Lacazette makes it 1-0 for Arsenal as we're about to go into half-time. As we're about to go into half-time. The goal was coming. The goal was definitely coming. He's celebrating there as if he scored the winner. 
um, going all the way over there to the manager. But look at that, you know, look at this free ball. Just simple free ball, one touch finish and straight past De Gea. I don't get how we defended so well for 45 minutes there. And then Lacazette just gets one chance and it's in the back of the net already. And there we go, I bet the hard time whistle goes more or less now, more or less. Okay, never mind, we might get a chance, we might get a chance. Go on, Felix. Oh, wow, okay. We won't get a chance, but yeah, into half time. Arsenal won the up. There we go, Fred now. He's got a few options here, waiting for Fernandez to make a run. Okay, maybe Felix is the better option, maybe the 1-2 with Greenwood. Go on back inside, never mind, through. Go on, Felix, finish that. Oh my god, Leno, what a great save that was. McTominay for Pogba, yeah, I think we'll make the change. We'll definitely make that change, but Felix there. Leno, oh, Felix, man, as if. But McTominay's going to come on now, might help us out in this corner, to be fair. Fernandez whips it over, it's in towards Felix. Go on, Fernandez, try and get to that, try and get to that, and he can't get to that. Oh, here we go, Rashford, go on, come on, we've got to get, get something from this. Lacazette now coming back and defending. Have Arsenal gone ahead and put ultra defensive on? To be honest, I won't blame him. I'll probably be the same with how close this game is. But, like I said, all the way back there defending. What have we got left now? 15 minutes. McTominay's come on. The only other change I could possibly make is Dan James for Greenwood, maybe. Use that pace on the right-hand side, possibly. And uh, let's have a see. Felix now. Let's try and go inside. Fernandez. Okay, move back through. Just couldn't get it back through once again. Canate. What a game he is having. Like, honest, he's stopping everything. Now, oh, we're just giving away a free kick here then, guys. 36 yards out. Can we just get this one cleared? Go on, De Gea. Right, go on. Everyone forward, everyone forward. Come on, people. Get forward. Okay, never mind. I wanted to play that out. Um, Rashford, let's go over here. Come on, we've got to get up this pitch as fast as we can. Martial's on now for Felix. Just trying to, you know, help, help out with a bit of pace up front. Fernandez, back to Marshall. Okay, didn't need the fancy pass on it. Go on down for Neto. Please be onside. Please be onside. The low crossover. And it's headed away. Oh, Fred. Here we go, McTominay. Back to Fred here. This might be our last chance. This might be our last chance. The one-two. The one-two. No, David Luiz, man. It's just impossible. It's impossible to get past this back five. Oh, and here we go then, guys. This is how it's going to be topped off. Martinelli now. Okay, I'm surprised the pass didn't get made. No way, Aubameyang. Oh, it's, it's, it's over. It's over. We are out of the FA Cup to a 1-0 defeat to Arsenal, guys. How disappointing is that? We had one job to do. Go here today. Just put one goal in the back of the net like Arsenal did and seal us through into the semi-finals. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. What can I say? Just not good enough on the day. And five at the back. It's just so hard to get past. But there we go. Arsenal go through. It'll be interesting to see who they've got in the final. So there you go then, guys. As you can see, it's going to be Arsenal taking on Nottingham Forest in the final of the FA Cup. You know, that was poor from us. Really poor from us, you know. We did so well defending in the first half. Like I said, scores on half time. We have a whole 45 minutes to change things. We just don't get anything from it. Canate, for me, has to be a man of the match in that game. He just stopped every attack we, we attempted. Literally every attack. But you can see Nottingham Forest did get a 4-0 win. So Arsenal, I've got to say, I've got not an easy final, but, you know, it's, you know, I'd take that any day of the week. But coming up next, then, we do have two games in the Premier League, still trying to secure this top four. But as you guys can see on the right-hand side, Fulham got a 2-0 win against Spurs in the last game. So Spurs, we do have a game in hand on them right now. And they're on 66 points. We win our next game, which I do believe is against West Ham or Everton. Yeah, against Everton, sorry then we will go five points ahead of Spurs. So just taking another quick look then at our youth academy, getting ready for the second season now, because obviously a lot of these are going to go out on loan. Obviously some, well I say a lot of them, majority are age 14, so they won't be going anywhere. But especially these two here, Lucas Miller will be going out on loan at the start of the second season. And I'm hoping by the time the second season does start, Patrick Stark is 16, because this guy has got a chance to be absolutely unbelievable for the team. Looking at 88 to 96 potential so i can't wait for him to turn 16 and try and get him out on loan but here is then how we're going to line up against everton for this next game so again still we've still got four games left in the premier league they're all still very important because all it takes is us to lose two games out of the four games remaining spurs win the rest of their games and they go above us and finish in a top four so this season and especially today's episode after getting knocked out of the fa cup we've got to win our two games definitely and that is why I've changed the team up just slightly. I've got Neto on the right-hand side. Greenwood just hasn't really done much for me in these last couple of games. So no reason not to give Neto a chance in the side. Martial up front, Felix behind him. And we've got Fernandez and Pogba in the midfield. Let's get into it. Oh, here we go. Gabamin in for Richarlison. It's 1-0. 1-0 to Everton. Six, well, just about to go seven minutes into the game, guys. What is going on in today's episode? Last episode and the episode before, fair enough. You know, losses to Real Madrid. 
But in the league, we've been really good. And you just get opened up here straight away. Gabami now, just the, the free ball there to Richarlison. The touch, the turn, and straight into the back of the net. We've got to do so much better there. We've got to be closing him down. And we haven't done. And Everton take an early lead. There we go. Pogba up to Neto now. Let's get it in towards Martial. We're pretty outnumbered here going forward. But let's see if we can still get anything going. Felix Fernandez out wide. Rashford looking for the overlap here from Tellez. And here we go. Maybe not much of an overlap, but we can get a cross in here. And again, crosses really are pointless, I've got to be honest. We can't really get anything from them. Fernandez here. What a take touch there and possibly go for a, for a shot, but just get it tucked straight off him. And here we go. Then a free kick in a decent area. Sigurdsson whipping it in. Too close to call. Yerimina not getting the best header on it. Maguire just being able to surely get something on this. And again, we just can't seem to get the ball cleared. Headed away, man. Just get it cleared. Thank God. There we go. Come on. Rashford, let's just see if we can get Felix through, and there we go, he's through, he's off, there we go, come on, one-on-one, on one. Felix, you're good at these, you're good at these, get it in, it's in, there we go, we level up in this game, 37 minutes in, great assist there from Rashford, and that is all it took, he's one counter-attack, and we are level back in this game once again, and just, I'm just glad we're back in it, you know, guys, Felix there, just one-on-one, on one, just slows it down, there we go, and just fires it home. And there we go, level. Just one more goal, please. We're about to go into half-time, more or less. But another goal before half-time would be great. Oh, that's a great ball over top. De Gea just gets to it. Just got there in the time before Richarlison. But there we go into half-time. Still 1-1 one -one in this game. I don't really know where I can make any changes. I'm going to be honest. I think we just need to start playing a lot better and playing our passes better. Oh, that's a poor pass there from Kunde. Ended up into the path of Sigurdsson. Richarlison heads it back. De Gea. De Gea, please. Thank you. Thank you for saving us there. We just need we need to waken up. We need to waken up in this game. We're just not getting forward. Everton just capitalising on our silly mistakes. No. Oh, my God. Richarlison, 2-1. Two 2-1. One. Two one. I might just make that change. i uh, I don't know what to do. I honestly do not know what to do in this game. Every time we try and get forward, a pass gets broken up. Everton go on the counter here, and it's just impossible to stop it. Richarlison there again. We've got to be closing down, guys. What are we doing here? Richarlison now makes it 2-1. Neto's going to go off. Dan James is going to come on, and I'm just going to go ultra-attacking now. I can't waste any more time. Oh, here we go. Bernard now, of all people, running forward. Kunde, stop it. Kunde, just stop it. Oh, there we go. Tell us. Here we go. Come on. Martial up to Rashford. Come on. Over. Play it over. Rashford, just keep running. Just keep running. Rashford, I'll find you. And we have found him. Go on. Finish that, please. And it's in. There we go. 2-2. Two -two. Finally, we've got something out of this game. At least we're not going to leave with no points. We're at least going to leave with a point at this point. Run ultra attacking. We're going to carry on and see if we can get the three points. There's not long left in this game. A change. Greenwood up front. Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Just because I know Greenwood might have a bit better pace. And plus, I think his finishing's better anyway. But Rashford puts that one away. Thank God. And there we go. It's 2-2 in this game. Oh, so we have it here. Everton playing keep ball. Impossible to get it off them. Oh, there we go. Maguire, come on. Forward, come on. Our last chance of the game. Greenwood, two minutes added on. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, okay, the pass over. Rashford. Just Rashford, oh man, nothing again, man. What what am I doing? What am I doing? But at least we get a point from this game. It, this game, along with the Arsenal one, so frustrating, so frustrating. Just can't seem to break teams down. And if we do, chances like that just are just getting wasted. So guys, with that then, with that draw, Oz and Spurs are now level on points. Spurs go ahead of us into fourth place, but they do have a game extra played, of course, to go in front because the goal difference. But they have played one more game than us. We've got three games now. We can't afford to drop any more points. But at least we've got some good news then. As you can see, Patrick Stark, one of our Youth Academy players, age 15, has completed his development plan to go to a cam. So let's go over now and change the position. See if his overall is going to increase. And it does. It goes up by six. It goes up by six, guys. How unbelievable is that? Let's see. How long now? Centre mid will take 126 weeks. Anything else now? Left midfielder. Um, I don't really know what to put him on. I think we'll just keep him at centre mid. We'll keep him at cam for now and get him on. Okay, maybe yeah, up his passing there because his passing and shooting aren't the best. Is there anything that does passing and shooting? Oh, only attacking position. Short pass, maybe decent. Uh, I think we'll go for advanced playmaker. We'll put him on that for now. But going up by six overalls, that, that's just mental. 
But here we go then, guys, into our final game of the episode after two frustrating games. Hopefully, this could be the one that we could walk away with the winner. We definitely need to because after this, in the next episode, we've got Man City and Liverpool. So, going to start booking up our ideas. You know, we want to finish this season in the top four. That draw really set us back in terms of finishing in the top four this season. Not much change to the team. McTominay is coming to it alongside Pogba. Greenwood on the right, Marshall up front and Rashford on the left. Let's get into it. One thing to note, West Ham again, another team playing a five at the back. It's tough, it's tough playing a five at the back. But let's have a see how we do. Is it just is it just my eyes, guys, or do the players look smaller? Is it just because of the stadium that we're playing in and my, you know, custom kite and zoom and what have you? I don't know, but the players just seem smaller in this game. But Fernandez, oh, just couldn't get a shot away. Deck from Rice, and what? Offside. Okay, never mind, offside in the end. Would have took that corner early on as well. McTominay pushing forward. Marshall and... Okay, yeah, there we go. Marshall, just keep going. Keep going. You can get to that. You can get to that. Keep it. Oh, man. I wanted to try to work it back around the defender. But either way, we got ourselves a corner. Let's see. Anything from it. Fernandez in towards Marshall. It looks like it's going to play in the end. Okay, never mind. Fernandez will get to it. Play the pass. Play the pass. There we go. Um, Maguire up towards Pogba. Maybe the one-two. Martial, go on. Just get to that. And if you can't, Fabianski gets to it first. wan able to get the pass up now to Greenwood. Working it inside. Fernandez, uh, maybe the pass up to Pogba. Here we go. Come on. Try and get Rashford running here. Rashford, just keep going. We'll find you. And we have done. Chip him. Oh, there we go. He's in. He's in anyway. There we go. 1-0 in this game. 30-odd minutes in. And thank God we have scored, guys. I, I thought, instantly regretted it when I went for the chip. But the ball found the back of the net in the end. Anyway, luckily for us. And we've got 1-0 up here. Rashford, uh, sorry, Pogba. Great pass there. Rashford tries to go for the chip. Not enough power. And luckily just bounces off his chest. Anyway, and into the back of the net. And there we go now. 14 goals this season for Rashford. But most importantly, 1-0 up early on in this game. McTominay forward, Martial, go on Martial, keep going, there we go, finish that, just finish it, and there we go, he's in, 2-0 against West Ham, 35 minutes in, Martial scores, and that's a great bit of good ball, uh, ball control there, sorry, but there we go, 2 up in this game, that is massive, scoring one after another, that's what we need to do, when we score, hit them again, get another goal, get ourselves comfortable in this game, McTominay with the assist, and just, you know, just that pretty much lets the defender run across him, goes back inside, and there we go, off the post and in, and there we go, 13 goals for Martial this season. Could we get another before half-time? Pogba out wide to Rashford. Maybe one last chance here back inside to Pogba. Through for Martial. Go on, just keep going. Martial, third goal. Surely a third goal is guaranteed and it's... What? I thought I was in. I honestly thought I was in. But there we go into half-time in this game. 2-0 up. Should be able to just see out this second half now, surely. Oh, right, here we go. Pogba now. Look at Rashford in the space. Never mind. Plays it to Fernandez. But I'll take that. Let's see, Martial. Go on, Martial. Just keep going. Just keep going on this. See if we can get anything from it. Maybe the pass here. Greenwood. Back inside. Go on, turn him. Fernandez. 3 0, surely. And it is 3 0. There we go. 55 minutes into this game. And we go 3 0 up. We need all the goals we can. Because as we guys just seen, Spurs had four goals better than us in the goal difference. So in this game, we can get four goals, try and level them. That'd be great. Obviously, five goals would be even better, but just at least try and get somewhere near the goal difference. But there we go. Fernandez adds to the scoreline, and it's now 3 0 in this game. Fernandez finds Martial, finds Greenwood. Okay, here we go. Go on. Fernandez, maybe again. Okay, never mind. Martial gets absolutely taken out of the way there. And how long's left in this game? Okay, we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time to get another goal. Martial, just go on. Keep running. Just keep running. Go on. Roll it over. Oh, just couldn't ball roll it in time. Maguire wins the header. Here we go. Fernandez, go on. Surely a fourth. Surely a fourth through. Martial, just finish that and it's there. There we go. 4 0. In this game, Martial scores. And is that his hat trick in this game? Oh no, I think it was Rashford that scored two, isn't it? Rashford scored two. Fernandez won. And now Martial won as well. We have made two changes in this game. Pogba's gone off. Fred's come on. And also Greenwood's gone off. Neto has come on. But there we go. I'm surprised, Martial. Well, I say I'm surprised. I just seen how much the defender was getting closer to him. But he got the shot away in the end. That's now 14 goals this season for him. And we've got the four goals we wanted. Let's not concede here, guys. Let's get our four goals here. And let's not concede any. Because four goal difference is definitely going to help us. And there we go. We win this game against West Ham 4-0. And, you know, I'm a bit surprised myself after seeing how we performed in the first game, second game. And then coming into this game against West Ham, obviously we had a different mindset. We shouldn't have, but we had a different mindset of just going out all out attack. And making sure we got the first goal. And we did just that... And we walk away from here with a 4-0 win. 
But here is then the Premier League table that's going to end things off in today's episode. Now, as you guys can see, we're on 72 points at the moment in fifth place. Two games to go. Spurs have only got one game to go, and they're on 72 points as well. So, literally, all we need to do is win our next two games, which aren't easy ones. We're facing top of the table, Liverpool, and then also we're facing Man City. So, it's going to be tough, but, you know, if we win them two games, it doesn't matter what Spurs do, as long as we focus on our games. So, I just want to quickly give you guys, then, this quick update on the Champions League. Obviously, we did get knocked out in the quarterfinals to Real Madrid, but this is how the semi-finals went down. Juventus beating Man City, Real Madrid beating Chelsea... So that means in the final, you've got the Juventus versus Real Madrid final. That is massive. You know, Ronaldo taking on his former side to possibly win the Champions League for the first time for Juventus. So we can't wait to see how that turns out in the next episode. But also, guys, we'll be having a look down the squad hub in the next episode, looking at certain players, see if the overalls have grew and which ones we are looking to sell at the start of next season. But there we go then, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode. What a frustrating episode that was. Obviously, firstly, to get the 1-0 defeat to Arsenal, where we should have done so much better. But Canate just seems to be having the game of his life, and we just couldn't get past him, let alone the other defenders. Couldn't get past him. And then went into the game against Everton, where we just sort of switched off, and we just weren't really focused after that defeat to Arsenal. But then we picked things up and got a massive win against West Ham. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.